Welcome to our lecture online. Another very, very important aspect of statistics is the variability in the data. Whenever we measure something, especially when it comes to measuring something, we can be off the real measurement for all kinds of reasons, and that's what's called variability. So let's take a look at the definition. It is the accuracy of statistical results that depends on the variability of the collected data. Will we get the same result each time we take a measurement? And that's the key. And so what are some of those sources of variability? Well, assuming that we're working with some sort of measuring device or some sort of tool that gives us some information, for example, a voltmeter when we're working with circuits, then we want to look at, is the tool measurement precise? Is the scale too coarse? In other words, are we able to take accurate enough, precise enough data, or are the smallest the, uh, the smallest scales on the measurement too coarse. For example, we can only tell if it's one volt or two volt or three volt. We cannot discern what the in-between values are to get the decimal place. So if the measurement is not very precise, then of course we're going to have a lot of variability. Secondly, is the tool calibrated? If the tool is not calibrated, then the values that it gives us could be off by quite a bit. So that's why every, often, every so often in any sort of industrial environment, they want to calibrate everything to make sure that the values they get from all the measurements are reasonable. Third, is the zero setting in the right place? For example, when you start with a scale, you want to measure a weight, what does it say when you put it on zero? Does it truly say zero or is there some initial value when there's nothing on the scale. Does the tool have random or systematic errors? For example, each time you step on the tool and measure your weight and you can get back off and get on and each time you get on you get a different value, then there's all the randomness to that tool. In other words, it has some random error that cannot be predicted or is there a systematic error? In other words, that it basically adds about two or three or four percent to every measurement. So the more weight you put on the scale, the greater the difference between the true value and the measured value is. That's then called the systemic error. Is the scale accurate? For example, the scale may not be accurate. For example, I'm trying to measure the length of something, but that is only as accurate as the accuracy of the scale itself. Did I buy a very expensive tool or did I buy a very cheap tool that was made in such a way that the scale on it is not very accurate? How about if I take multiple measurements? One of the ways in which you can determine if there's a lot of variability that you take a lot of measurements of the same data point. And in each case, you get the very same answer, the very same result, then there's very little variability. But if you then make multiple measurements from the, by the same person, or you have three different people take the same measurement, do they all get the same value or they get different values? Does it depend on the operator? And that makes a difference as well. And finally, sample size. In statistics, sample size is very important. If the sample size is very small, you probably will have a lot of variability because a small sample may not necessarily represent the total population. As the sample size gets bigger, you're more likely to get a more representative result and less variation in the measurements that you make. And that's why all these things need to be considered if you're talking about variability and if you want to know the accuracy of your measurement. And that's important.